a good book, a good movie, um, socializing with friends. I don't, I don't club that much. I, I like doing it maybe once in a month or once in three months. But, you know, socializing with friends, going out, having a good drink, and, you know. Um, travel, I love travel. I am single, um, kind of searching, you know. Um, I'm not engaged yet, no. I would very much love to be married to a regular girl, you know, just outside the industry. Um, but I don't know, I mean, because I'm a private person myself. I like, when I finish my work, I come back home and just chill by myself, you know, just. Um, but I don't know if she'll be able to handle you know, it depends if she's able to handle um, the sort of exposure, um, accolades and stuff like that. Um, that depends on that. But I don't see any problem with that. As regards um, being with someone who's in an industry, that I don't have any problems with either. Um, all I just want is for us to have our time to ourselves. It was absolute fun. I say fun because the, the cast and crew were absolutely lovely. You know, everyone was hands-on, you know, friendly, very hard, it was very hard work. I was playing the role of Dr. Onyema, who was a universal lecturer, who for political reasons had to flee from Nigeria, from the Nigerian scene. Um, he, he was recognized by the Irish government, so in, in other words, he could work in the same capacity in an Irish university. However, um, had a lot of challenges because the people were not really ready to accept who he was. And so he, it was a matter of him, uh, desperately and this was a very stubborn man a very proud man he wouldn't go for any other job like you know take a menial job in the meantime while you're doing the application so he fell into lots of difficulties and somehow got into ventured into drugs somewhat it was Akibo Emekia he, he was a producer and uh, and also Robert Goodman. It was a kind of interplay, both of them produced. Then Robert Goodman was the artistic director, then Akiba was the technical director. <laughs> Don Cheeto, Pacino, Al Pacino, and Denzel. As long as they don't ask me to sing and dance, I don't know if I'm that good a dancer, so, but yes, that would be fantastic. I want to start with um, short, like 10 minute flicks, 15 minutes, radio stuff. I think I want to start with radio first. As regards script, yeah, I would love to. Um, novels, I, I, I've been on one novel for ages, I started off and kind of got lost along the way but it's still there. But I do poems as well, I've got, I've got a number of poems that, yeah I will publish, I will publish. Just to, little at a time, just to test the waters. I think I just want them to see me as Kalu, you know, just play with them and everything. I, I'm, I'm not too sure whether it's because it wasn't supposed to be my field in the beginning. I was supposed to be some doctor and, you know. When I, when I knew it was pretty good, was when my mom, while she was watching at some point, she was so engrossed, she 
completely forgot I was in one. It was like someone else. Why, why are you so stupid? Why can't you see that this person is for you? you know? And I was right there, you know. <laughs> completely forgot it was Kalu. It was, all she saw was Greg, the character I was playing. <laughs> Children are one, and the other primary um, project I would really love to get into. I'm still looking for NGs that deal with them are lepers, the lepers um, colony. Orphans, mostly because I remember as a child um, growing up, we're a large family and everything, and I, I sort of had this morbid apprehension or fear, if you may call it that. What would happen if my dad were to suddenly just die? Or my parents were to suddenly die, you know. Especially when you, <clears throat> especially when you, I mean, nobody had, were all children and had no life, means of livelihood or anything. Would re we really be taking care of our uncles who profess to love us so much and everything? Um, lepers um, is as a result of an experience I had when I think I came back in, to, in 1999. And um, I was traveling down east. Um, I was traveling down east um, in a bus. And as we we're going, I mean, the roads weren't that good. I think we went through a dose state somewhere near Bini. And there were these lepers, you know, by the roadside, um, just begging for arms and everything. And we're just speeding past. The roads were a bit, I remember just the bus passing just inches of one of them just inches and the leper didn't even flinch they didn't even try to get out of the way and I thought to myself to what level does one have to go down I mean these people obviously didn't think anything of their own lives because they're being so rejected by society